Howdy! It's me, Chief Fedlocks here, you know, the, the other day I was working on the house and I had the radio playing in the background and I, I, was, uh, I was doing a little bit of noisy work there, but I, and I heard in the background that Trump had just been committed. And I thought, well, you know, that's good, because the, the guy seriously needs some help. You know, he, he's obviously unstable, he's, he had a bad childhood, nobody loved him, uh, and it continues that way. And uh, so sadly, uh, you know, I thought, well, that, that's a good thing. And then, uh, then I listened again to the radio and then they said he'd been acquitted. And I thought, well, you know, that... that that doesn't make any sense at all because of the stuff that he did, you know, with the, the, the trying to uh, control the next election with a little bit of help from Ukraine. And, uh, but, you know, I, I thought, well, you know, those, those things happen. So, and I thought he'd be real happy about it, but uh, then he came out and uh, then he was kind of blowing up yesterday at the prayer breakfast uh, trying to uh, argue that the Bible is all about retribution. And, uh, uh, you know, you think he'd be happy that he dodged a bullet, but no, he's, uh, he's uh, definitely quite upset. And, uh, He's going to get even with some people, so I thought a little song about that might be nice. The presidential pity party has begun. Trump's kneeling, he has been aggrieved. He thought his presidency would be lots more fun, and he thinks of all that he's achieved. He's helped to lock some brown kids into cages. He's flown into a couple hundred rages. His Alzheimer's is in the final stages, I think. So he's sure he's still the chosen one. The presidential pity party's going strong as his enemies' lists take shape. And just like his red tie, it's really way too long. Trump's fury one cannot escape. He'll start out with some nasty tweets about you in hopes that your supporters start to doubt you. Like Jesus, he is totally devout too. And suffers though he's done no wrong. Trump and Jesus. Some say he's as holy as they come. Holy shit. The presidential pity parties jump the track. The locomotive's now on fire. The passengers are frightened and they're stepping back, but getting sucked into the mire. They thought that it would be fun to be part of it. Cause things seem pretty harmless at the start of it But Putin's plans are right there at the heart of it And now there is no going back 